What up, dudes? So, this is a video coming to all you beginners out there, all right? 11 things that you should know as a beginner bodybuilder, all right? Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you the bonus 11th tip because originally when I wrote this out, there was only 10, but then there was a really good one that I thought of, so I thought, ah, it's going to be 11, okay? So stick around to the end of the video and I'm going to tell you that last one is the most important one. Okay, tip one, invest in food, all right? You should be investing your money in food before anything else, okay? When it comes to bodybuilding, it can be expensive, especially if you're like a competitive bodybuilder. You know, when it comes to competing and federation fees and show fees and things like that, it can start to get expensive. You know, we eat a lot of food and food is the you know the biggest expense um, when it comes to bodybuilding so just make sure you're investing your money on food before in anything else all right no supplements you know tr like fancy belts and straps with your freaking name on it and all stuff like that it can all wait all right guys focus all your attentions on investing money into your food and i promise you that's going to take you a long way even before coaching you know before anything before anything Invest your money in good quality food. All right, tip two. So follow the pros, all right? This is one of my favorite tips, follow the pros. When I first came into bodybuilding, social media wasn't as prevalent as it was nowadays. And pretty much the only guys you heard about was the pro bodybuilders, okay? So I think in that respect, people from my era, um, you know, even though I'm not old, but people from my era had a slightly uh, advantage. A slightly advantage? That doesn't even make sense. We had a slight advantage. Um, because I feel we didn't get uh, too muddled up with you know the masses of information that's out there now on social media. We just got the good stuff from the pros, okay? So I think that um, although social media does give out some really good information now, I think as a beginner coming into it, I think it's very difficult to decipher what's, um, what's noteworthy and what's not, okay? So one of my top tips for you guys is to follow the pros, the top pro bodybuilders, because they're the guys that have been there and done it, and generally nine times, generally nine times out of 10, they're gonna give you some good quality information about how you can improve on your physique. Tip three, learn to engage your muscles well. I believe in engaging, um, engagement of the muscle and what, learning how to contract a muscle is way more important than the training split, um, you know, even how hard you're training to some extent, because if you're not training the muscle correctly and you're not feeling what you're training, there's training hard and there's training hard with, you know, direct intensity, all right? There's a difference, okay? So I think making sure you learn to engage muscles, that mind-muscle, uh, mind-to-muscle connection, I believe is one of the most important things when it comes to training before you move forward onto anything else with your training, okay? So a good way you can do this is before each session that you're training a particular muscle, make sure you hit an isolation exercise and really engage with the muscle and make sure you, you understand what the muscle does, okay? simple things like how your chest contracts you know how your bicep contracts and like small small pieces of um of you know knowing a little bit of anatomy here will help you get stuck in a book um and learn some of the science behind how muscles work you know insertion origins and that sort of stuff that will really help you understand how the body works and it will definitely take you a long way in your training i'm sweating up like a bitch in this car all right Four, compound movements. You want to learn them to the best of your ability. Ability? Ability. I'm not talking about, um, you know, prioritizing compound movements, although you should, but that's, an, you know, that's another thing. I'm just talking about learning to do the compound movements well. Okay, I see a lot of guys, they're doing the compound exercises like they should be because they know that's going to recruit a lot more muscle, but they're doing them so poor and like you need to focus on doing the compounds well before you're actually you know smashing a lot of um smashing all them types of big movements you know you need to make sure you're doing them well you need to make sure you're doing them safely you need to make sure you're getting the most out of them okay so spend some time investing um investing again maybe a book or a coach or something that's going to teach you how to correctly perform the compound movements to get the most out of them At tip five focus on intensity intensity is the key 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 thing that's going to make you grow okay intensity trumps everything what, like intensity in the gym trumps everything. I can't say that enough, guys. Before what training split you do, before what exercises you do, you know, before a lot of other stuff in the background, you know, before what supplements you take um, and all this other stuff, intensity 
is king. Intensity will get you to grow. In the in the very beginning stages of my career, or my career, but you know, when I was young and I was started training, the one thing I had when I look back now, the one thing I know I had was intensity. Okay. Some people are naturally, you know, gifted with it. Some people have to learn it. Either way, that's cool because we each have our own strengths and weaknesses, right? Um, the guys that you don't, you know, naturally have that real that real bite, then you need to go and learn that, okay? You need to go and find someone who can teach you that. You need to look at the other guys in the gym who are killing it and you need to mimic that. You need to find that intensity. You need to find that real bite and um, and train really fucking hard in the gym, right, guys? Because intensity trumps a lot of things in the gym. Intensity is king. Um, and I'm gonna say it, stop saying intensity now, but jump on that one. Okay, number six, create good eating habits, all right, guys? If you wanna be a bodybuilder, you need to eat like a bodybuilder, all right? I'll say it again, if you wanna be a bodybuilder, you need to eat like a bodybuilder, guys. So making good eating habits is a very key thing when it comes to bodybuilding as well. Something that I'm still practicing now, okay? My consistency with my eating, in particular in off-season, um, since the last um, you know, few months that I've really, really focused on that, put a lot of focus onto my consistent in, consistency in eating, I haven't missed a meal. My physique has, has, um, has come up on leaps and downs. All right, guys, so create good eating habits is gonna be essential if you wanna be a bodybuilder, if you wanna be a pro bodybuilder. Okay, tip seven. Seven? Seven. Put yourself in the correct environment, guys, okay? Being in the correct environment, I believe, is a massive bonus when it comes to training, um, you know, when it comes to motivation and just being around people who are, you know, into the same things as you, I think is a big bonus. So if you can put yourself in a gym that's filled with bodybuilders that want to compete, naturally, you are going to, you know... <laughs> you're going to be sort of pulled in that direction, okay? You're going to be pulled in that direction. You're going to want the same things. If you're hanging out with people who want the same things as you, then generally you're going to go that direction, okay? Tip number eight, take pictures. This is a very important tip. There's not enough people out there taking pictures because they don't want to, you know, they don't really want to see what they look like. But if you want to be a pro bodybuilder, if you want to be a bodybuilder, then you need to be making pictures. Making pictures, you need to be taking pictures. The heat's getting to my head. You need to be checking on your physique on a weekly basis and make sure you're progressing, okay? This is what we do as coaches, you know? I have lots of clients, and one of the main things that I do with them is just get them to send me pictures every single week, sometimes twice or more. So taking pictures is really important, okay? You need to make sure that you're progressing because sometimes you might think that you're progressing, you know, you're just checking yourself out, little gym selfie here and there. You think you might be progressing, but you might not be moving forward as much as you actually are, okay? And there might be things that you're missing, things that you're lacking, things that you need to work on. And if you don't take the pictures, you might not find that out. All right? So take pictures. Tip nine, set goals, all right? Setting goals is huge. If you don't set goals, then really there's no means to move forward. You're kind of just like a zombie, kind of just floating around, not really knowing what to do, okay? I've been there. Um, you know, have, not having any goals and I made nowhere near the same amount of progress as when I had a goal, okay? So set goals, long-term goals, short-term goals, write them down, have them on your phone, have them in your, you know, a notebook at home, whatever, but write down some goals and make sure you're always progressing forward. Okay, tip 10, nearly there. Tip 10 is learn the history. Learn the history of the passion that you're involved in, okay? You're involved in bodybuilding, you wanna be a bodybuilder. I think it makes huge sense to wanna learn the history of the sport that you're involved in it makes you a lot more involved it makes you like feel at home with what you're doing but have a look at the guys who are the pioneers of this sport and pay homage to those guys you know see how the sport came about see the background of the sport you know where it originated how it developed etc etc i think learning the history of the sport as a beginner sounds weird but i think it's i think it's quite a big thing you know when it comes to if your if your goal is to be a pro bodybuilder, you know, then dive into the history a little bit. All right, okay, guys, and the last one, tip eleven, the best tip is self confidence, guys. All right, as a beginner, you're gonna you know you're gonna come across a lot of situations where you're gonna be like, oh, can I? Can't I? Look, let me tell you this: those who say they can, can, and those who say they can't, can't. All right, they're both normally correct. So. 
at the end of the day, self-confidence is key. It's going to get you so much further than any of this shit I've just said. If you believe you can do something, then you will do it. All right, guys, don't be a victim to your genetics. Don't be fooled that it's only, you know, the most talented people that can do great in bodybuilding because talent will fail you if you don't work on your craft. All right, guys, and if you don't have the self-confidence, to push forward, to push forward, you know, despite people telling you maybe that you can't, etc. You need to be the one who has it in yourself, in your heart to tell yourself that, no, I can do this, I can keep going on, I can be a pro bodybuilder. Like, it's the most important thing. Um, have some fucking confidence about yourself. If you don't, then you can learn it. You can read books on it, you can watch videos on it. Trust me, you can learn self-confidence. All right, guys, so if that's something that you lack, then that's something you need to work on. That's a big one. All right, people, so I hope you enjoyed this video. 11 things that you should be doing as a beginner bodybuilder. Don't forget to comment below, like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel, and peace.